Since the school began, students had been primarily younger, unmarried women. But in the 70s, the demographics began to change. I had this horrible fear that when I arrived here, not only would I be the only male, but I'd be the only person in my mid-twenties when I arrived here because my image of nursing school was everybody coming directly out of high school, 18 years old, and going to, to nursing school. And the, a lot of the students here were 18 years old, there was no doubt about that. But I was also um, uh, found myself with a group of people who were my age, had had some of the same life experiences I had, some of the same political leanings and all of that business, and it really did make the experience uh, very enjoyable. The biggest change was the acceptance of males into the program. I happened to be teaching at the time that the first male student entered the institution and uh, the stories that he could tell about what it was like for him um, to be in this environment that was exclusively and predominantly female. With the admission of male students, changes became necessary in traditions which had been held for more than 60 years. When I went to school here, um, uh, there was only one other male that had gone to this program the, the year um, ahead of myself and in my class there were two other males and it was quite obvious that the women were kind of kept behind these locked doors here in, in the center of Oakland and and what were they going to do with us men well when I uh, applied to the school I was told I'd have to find housing someplace else and so I did that uh, when I moved here and about halfway through the program some of the women in the program got upset that some of the men could live off of campus and the women had to live on campus. And so there was uh, some rather tense negotiations going on about that. I remember at one time they had planned to buy one of the houses over there on the other side of the campus and, and move us men into there so that we would be keeping, uh, in keeping with what they were, the requirements were for the women who went to the college. Um, but that kind of fell by the wayside. And then there was a rule that was made up, and if my memory serves me well, if you were 21 years old and wanted to live off campus, you could uh, live off campus. So that's how that one got solved. Other traditions also seemed outmoded. Some of the, the nursing traditions that, that I found a little odd and, and sometimes a little too feminine um, uh, were things like capping ceremony. I remember when that came up and that's when all the nurses wore caps. Well, what do you do with the men in school because we didn't wear caps? Acceptance of change was not always universal. If there was any prejudice at all, I, I felt then and I feel now to a certain extent it came from physicians uh, rather than from um, um, my colleagues in nursing and occasionally from um, patients or clients. I think if I were to try to encapsulate what it was like to go to nursing school in the 70s is that it was um, uh, a, a great time of, of transition, not only for healthcare, I think, but for nursing. The push was on in this country to, uh, and particularly here on the West Coast, to close the three-year programs and transitionalize them to baccalaureate programs. And so the, the discussions and the impassioned uh, debates about entry into practice and that sort of business uh, were very much on, uh, everybody, was very much on everyone's mind here. 